Hey guys, Melon Man here, down at the water this morning, oh my gosh, you have to see, it is so gorgeous out, my poor dog, she's cold, I didn't put her jacket on this morning, I thought it looked so nice, but it is cold, but it is, it's crisp, but it is so beautiful, it's so beautiful. To see so much clear and clear sun this morning that's gorgeous just gorgeous you know and i just did a little walk jog you know we need to move guys movement is is uh, you know a part of our natural uh lives we're movement beings uh, you know, it's it's oxygen. We need to get it, and when we move our bodies, uh, our body, our respiration goes up, and and we and we start uh, uh, taking in more oxygen, and that's what we need. We need to breathe out the carbon dioxide. Breathing is detoxification. Our our biggest detoxification organ is our lungs. Believe that. Did you know that? Our lungs are our biggest detoxification organ. We breathe out most of our toxicity. Some people have really bad breath. That's because they have a lot of toxicity. Some people have to use a lot of deodorant. That's because they have a lot of toxicity. As you really detoxify your body, as you start getting out the junky stuff out of your body, you won't even need to wear deodorant anymore. Believe that. Crazy. Listen, I'm, I'm moving into my third year uh, in, this, in this lifestyle, this vegan lifestyle, this raw food lifestyle now. I'm moving into my third year. I haven't been sick in two years now. So, uh, you know, sickness, illness, disease does not have to be a part of your vocabulary. You can overcome sickness, illness, and disease, and you have the power to do it. It's your food. It's your overeating, it's your poor habits, it's your substance use, it's your medications, it's your stinking thinking. It's thought and physical element that's making you sick, unhappy, tired, sleep issues, insomnia, um, mental disorders, mood disorders, uh, high blood pressure, uh, depression, anxiety, pain, physical pain in your body. It can be gone. Any yeast infections, candida, digestive disorders or distress, all of it can go. I had athlete's foot for 32 years. It went away. I had so much pain in my body from all of the protein. I was following the paleo plan. I was following the keto plan. You know, I've got you know, seven different levels of detoxification that I like to teach. You know, seven levels because, you know, I understand some people don't want to give up meat. I understand. So, you know, do level one, do level two. They still include meat. Or you just, just reduce it. Level two is just a little bit meat reduced, right? But what's going to happen is as you start moving this way towards the vegan lifestyle, towards the raw food lifestyle, towards the fruitarian lifestyle, towards the liquid dairy and lifestyle, towards what I call unfooding, which is how I'm living a lot of the time now. Most of my week now, I don't even eat. I don't even eat. I eat on the weekends because I enjoy food and I love to uh, indulge in food with my family. And plus, I don't want to not have food at birthday parties and I don't want to not have food at Christmas and Easter. I want to be social. I don't want to be anti-social. That's not what this is about. I'm not trying to be an anti-socialist. I'm not trying to go, you know, I'm not trying to hate on society. I'm just trying to be the best version of me. And I recognize that unfooding helps us do that. When we challenge desire, I recognize that that's how we recognize who we truly are. We're not the subconscious programming that's become us, that we've accepted as us, the personality, the ego. That's not us. We are so much more. And when we uh, become aware of our subconscious programming, and that happens best when we're unfooding. I call it unfooding. You could call it fruit and fasting or vegan and fa vegan food and fasting or distilled water and fasting because 
fruits and vegetables are basically distilled water. Distilled water is what rinses all of the, the positive, dead, uh, inert uh, elements from the body. We've got to get those chemicals and inert elements from the body. We need live, mobile um, uh, ions, uh, ions that uh, have an electric current or, or we're, we're, motion, we're motion beings, beings of movement. We've got to move and, and we've got to uh, you know, get in oxygen. We've got to get in molecules that, are, um, that, that have an, a, a negative charge. So distilled water has a slightly negative charge because it rinses through the body and pulls out all of those dead elements. Distilled water and fruits, distilled water and vegetables, raw food, that's why we got to go to the vegan lifestyle, right? As we start moving in that way, the body starts to detoxify and what, what, what is most natural happens. The body heals and the body unfoods because as you unfood, that's... That's the, the greatest healing. It, it, it allows the obstructions to leave the most. It allows us to remove the congestion and the constipation the best when we're empty. All of the digestive rest when we're empty. We're not creating bile. We're not creating insulin. We're not, we're not uh, uh, creating stomach acids, hydrochloric acid. So the, the body doesn't have to create all of these, these elements. So there's more energy available for the body. So unfooding frees up your energy and, and allows you to connect to who, and tr who you truly are. It, it, what we really are is the space in between thoughts, the consciousness. Some people like to call it spirit. Some people want to call it God. Call it God. No God. I don't care. Call it science if you like. Science, the energy of science. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. It's science. That's the, the law of thermodynamics, the second law of thermodynamics, right? Just call it whatever you like, right? Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. You are not your subconscious programming and you can reprogram yourself so that you don't have to think all day long about your mindfulness. You can reprogram yourself, but you're going to have to go through a bit of a tough bit. It's a tough mental bit. Uh, it's an unfooding bit to actually learn and realize who you really are. You can come back to who you are. You can come back to your youthful body, or your youthful energy. You can get your mood back. You can have your enthusiasm back. You can get your motivation back. You can get your sexual energy back. You can get your sexual performance back. And you don't have to be spilling all your, your, your sexual juices either because it's not all about sex, I tell you. Relationships aren't all about sex. Okay, there's a lot more to it than that. I was a sex addict, believe me. Believe me when I tell you, I can be happy now with so much less food, sex, coffee, tea, drugs. I don't need any of it anymore, right? I don't need anything from outside of me anymore. I get my love and I create my love and my joy for myself. Okay, I call it unfooding. You could call it detoxification. You could call it dis distilled water fasting. You could call it vegan nutrition. You could call it raw food nutrition. You could call it the fruitarian lifestyle. You could call it the breatharian lifestyle, the pranic lifestyle. You could call it chi energy. You could call it the power of our universe. You can call it connecting with your spirit. You can call it soul awakening. You can call it connecting with your inner child. Right? It's about becoming the very best version of you. Hey, the melamin down by the water. Let me give you a glimpse. What a gorgeous day. Hey guys, melamin here again. Listen, I've been a personal trainer for 30 years. If you want to get help losing some weight, toning up, you know, we can check my website. Okay. You can uh, contact me there. If you want to work with me online, I'm outfitted in my private training studio with camera so I can reach you anywhere in the world. We can work out in your home or you can come into my private training studio if you like. Whatever is better for you. I'm here to support you. If you want to meet for a short free discussion, let's have a free consultation time. Let's talk on the phone or do a face-to-face -face call online. Just reach out to me. Check my website. Talk to you soon.